popping rock guitarist, a Grammy-nominated classical violinist, decided to play each other's music, co-write a new piece, and even cover a Lady Gaga song. You can find out at Gala NYC, a genre-breaking performance series of the Brooklyn Lyceum. Here to tell us more is Mike Block. He is the founder and artistic director of Gala NYC. Mike, welcome. Thank you. What do you mean when you talk about leaping across musical or artistic boundaries? Well, um, Gala NYC, which stands for uh, Global Art Local Audience, we feature musicians and, uh, and also dancers and visual artists, mostly mm -hmm. musicians coming from different genres, and we focus on the collaborations that result from people that speak different artistic languages. Have they ever collaborated before, or was this something that, that's new for them as well? Uh, it's very new for a lot of them, yeah. How'd this idea pop up in your head to do that? Well, uh, I'm a freelancer, I play the cello, okay. and I've kind of made my living playing lots of different styles of music, touring with lots of different ensembles. I tour in Yo-Yo Ma's Silk Road Ensemble, and I used to play in Mark O'Connor's Appalachian Waltz Trio. So uh, I felt like, you know, I was every two weeks playing with a different group, a different genre, and, uh, and I just wanted those experiences to actually kind of come together and have different musicians come together and create something new. So is, that, is there really, do you get the magic sometimes when you, get, when you meld these people from completely different disciplines and different styles of music? Yeah, it's about 90% magic, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. The, the collaborations have been very successful because we do them sort of like one or two pieces at a time so we can get really conceptually deep about what it is we're trying to accomplish with different people and their backgrounds. And you got four concerts coming up in May, right? Yes. This month. So who's performing in those concerts? Well, uh, we have a show tomorrow, and we're featuring uh, Hu Jong Bing, who plays the Chinese Sheng, which is a traditional mouth organ, uh -huh. as well as uh, Hideaki Amori, who plays jazz saxophone, and Shane Shanahan, who's a world percussionist, and the Enzo String Quartet, a, a Grammy-nominated classical group. And so, you know, with our forces combined, and with the help of a few dancers, uh, we're going to create a whole bunch of stuff together that none of us have played. You and know? they're all going to play together. Yeah. You're going to mix them all together. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you're streaming it online, too. For that is correct. Through our website, uh, galanyc.com. What are you most excited about? In, in the show? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think the sharing is, is what's really exciting. You know, when the week starts on Monday, I have no idea what the show is going to sound like. Because mm -hmm. it's all new collaborations, things that are happening for the first time. And so by the time we get to show day, you know, and the audience is there, suddenly it feels like, you know, we're about to share something that, that nobody's ever heard before. How did the audiences react? We had our first show last week and the vibes were great. It was really, we had a lot of audience participation in the show as well. Yeah. And the audience did great and it was just really good vibes. Okay, well, thanks for coming in, Mike. Good luck with it. Thanks for having me. Finally, the road to Broadway is a significant journey for an actor. And as every story...